about his, uh, he's talked to psychologists. I got a quote right here. Albert. I got a psychologist I want you to talk to right now. All right, here we go. Hey, what do you think? That, hey, hey, what do you think this guy needs a little psychoanalysis? What do you think? Hey, hold on, Christopher. What I said before, little boys play with toy guns and soldiers and things. Little girls play with dolls. What do you bet Christopher, when he was a little boy, played with dolls? What do you think? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. As a matter of fact, he probably plays with dolls now, inflatable dolls. Something. We're not talking about toy guns that are just little uh, green squirt guns or some hot pink orange guns. We're talking guns that are so detailed looking, so detailed looking and so real looking that on the on the freeway shootings that we've had in the past couple years, this weirdo thought it'd be funny to get a squirt gun Uzi, a detailed real looking squirt gun Uzi, wasn't real, goes on the freeway making people half crash and kill themselves because this toy gun now looks so oh, real. Oh, come on. Not killing them. But you're saying, but your, wait a minute, your argument is any toy guns, when, when little boys go bang, bang, you're dead, all that kind of thing, you say that that's psychologically damaging. That's stupid and ridiculous. The kids, children, children as they're growing, they're, they are more receptive to the things around them when they're younger. They take, it, they take in everything when they're young. And they're, and they're not only taking aggressions out, but these things can... No, wait, wait, wait. Here's a little toy older. gun here. Here's one right here. A little toy gun. Now, let me ask you. Do you think, do you think this toy gun could cause any problems? I want Christopher to examine this gun. Hold on a minute, okay. It's examined, it's examined. Oh, my face. All right, all right. Okay. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Okay. Okay. didn't hurt, did it? All right. Now, that was all in, in fun and play, right? It's all in fun and play. Too many Hold kids are taking guns in, in fun Hold and on. play. Now, here's another little gun here. Hey. Get away from me, man. Get back with those. Get back with those violent pools. These toys that are in fun, these toys that are in fun, these toys that are squirt guns, that's just, that's just it. Kids don't, do not learn the proper use of a gun. I'm for people having guns for protection. It's one thing you, you hear every day. You hear every day kids getting their parents' gun that they've hidden for protection from criminals. Kids getting into these guns, shooting themselves, shooting other people, shooting their sister. And it's happening all the time. Why? Because they're, but it's not gonna they're so toy used. Gun. They're so used to Wally over here. Christopher, Christopher, wait a minute. Oh, oh, I, I got a question for you. You're telling me that, that little boys that play with these guns go out and commit murder. How do you uh, account for the fact little girls go out and commit murder? Yeah. yeah. What about that? Yeah. What? Little boy, little girl, wh whatever the child is, a monkey, I don't care who we're talking about. We're talking about toy guns, the kind, the, the kind that Wally plays with at home every day, shooting Janice and, oh, and yeah. his kids. <laughs> we're talking the same type, these same type of kids. The kids in, in, in fun and play, the kids in fun and play with these squirt guns. At home, like I said, they'll, they pick up these hey, guns on, and shoot them all over the place. Hey, hey, Christopher. I'm going to shoot you out of here. You're out of here.
not seen before or will want to see again. Here's our golden oldie. <laughs> and now, <laughs> why not? And now, hold it. And now, David, it's time for our first bimbo on the show tonight. The first bimbo we have up tonight is a girl who is here to promote women invading all men's clubs. Model and actress Becky LeBeau. Here's Becky. <laughs> Hold it down, guys. First of all, where in the world do you get those obscene outfits? Aren't they obscene? Oh, I don't know. I picked them up somewhere. You so, picked them up somewhere? Yeah. I, hey, I think someone picked her up somewhere. What do you think? <laughs> Becky, I mean, don't you feel a little obscene wearing that, that kind of, a, of an outfit? I just don't feel! I'm my dress. Obscene? You don't know what obscene is. <laughs> she's, a, she's a, I don't know what obscene is. I'm looking at obscenity right here. Right here. So hold on now. Let's get down to our, our, our debate of the evening. Okay. Now, you, uh, I, I can't believe that, that you're a feminist. She's more of a bimbo than a feminist. <laughs> But, but the thing is, <laughs> she's standing up for the, the feminist causes. Now, you are here to defend these idiotic women who are forcing them, themselves into exclusive men's clubs like the Jonathan Club and others who have had to. They, the ACLU and the feminist movement has forced men's clubs to introduce or to admit women into these clubs. And I say men's clubs should be able to keep it strictly for men, shouldn't they? Yeah! Now, now, you people call it discrimination against women. I don't say so. Why do you think, why are you trying to, to uh, insist that women be allowed to join exclusive men's clubs? Why do you think that's important? Well, it is discrimination because they're considered a place of business. Men's clubs are considered a place of business, and you can't discriminate against minorities and women in these clubs. Men's clubs are not a place of business. Well, they're sure a they place, are. They're a, no, they're a place they, of business. Oh, no, hold on. They they're, would be a place of business if they let you in there. Yeah. Hey, I would hate to think the kind of business she'd conduct in those clubs. Yeah. Now, oh, no, no, they, they are not a place of business. They are a place for men to come to socialize. And I say men should have the right to have some kind of a retreat where they can go with other guys, take a shower, smoke a cigar, and, uh, and, and sit down and, and talk men talk. Now, why do, why do you want to deny that for us men? Isn't that wrong? Yeah. Now, now, why would you deny us guys the right to have exclusive men's club where, where us guys can get together without you bimbos breathing down our necks. Yeah. Uh, you now, what's like, wrong with that? You don't like me breathing down your, your neck, bimbos like me? Well, she probably you breathes like down that. more than your neck. What do you think? Yeah. No, but why, why do you want, why, don't, why won't you allow us, why do you think it's right that, that us guys can have men's club just for us men? What's wrong with that? We have, we have, this is the United States of America, we should have the freedom to, to do that. Now, why would you deny us that freedom? Because it's discrimination against women. Oh. Women should be allowed any place that men are allowed. But you, why don't you phone your own, form your own women's clubs? I, I, mean, I mean, there are a lot of, of women's clubs, and we men don't want to join their clubs, do we? No! Uh, there's a club, I, I believe it's called For Women Only, that I think they were men were trying to sue because it was discrimination. Oh, that's a what, bunch of no, baloney. What, what, so, what are you so afraid of that men will do in these clubs that you'll miss out on? 
Well, so, did you want to get in there and hone in on it? To use a pun. Yeah. Why do you want to do that? It's not why. It's the point of it. Women shouldn't be discriminated against in any circumstance. We are we are not trying to discriminate against you. You see, this is just a big smoke screen that you're blowing up again. They're always trying to find something the feminists that we guys are doing against them. Isn't that right? Get them out! It's just an excuse. Now, what would you like? Do you want to go to these men's clubs, like the Jonathan Club, and sit back with the guys with a big cigar in your hand? Is that what you want to do? And talk, and talk, men talk? Is that what you want, want to do, Becky? Well, it sounds interesting. I've never tried it. But, I mean, <laughs> would you also like to, to go into the locker room and join them in the showers, too? Yeah. Have you ever been turned down at a men's club? I don't know. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. I've never really tried it. You've tried it. <laughs> but, no. but, the, but the whole point of the matter is the reason men have men's clubs is they want to get away from women for a little while yeah. and be able to be guys, right? Yeah. Now, why, I still don't understand why you, you, you want to deny us that right. This is the United States of America. And if anybody in this, in this audience wants to form a private club, say I want to form a club for redheads only. Now, shouldn't I have that right? <laughs> you women want to form a club for women only? You have that right. And we men should have the right to form our own club. And you have no grounds except to harass us. That's the only reason. Becky. Yeah. That's not true. It was proven true in a court of law that they conduct business in these places. You know what, then... people, Becky, I have to tell you this. You don't really look like a bimbo. You sound like a bimbo. <laughs> now, now, as far... Thank you, thank you. And the way she is dressed, I think she should take some lessons in class from my fiancé. What do you think? <laughs> But you know what? You know, where will it ever end? You know, so you women now are going to get into to all the men's clubs, and us guys are going to watch what we say, and we can't walk around in our in our undershorts anymore. And, and we got to watch our language because you bimbos are in there watching every move we make. That's where will, an idea. Where will it all end? Hey, hey, be, before long, the Girl Scouts will be wanting to join the Boy Scouts. Oh! say it's an injustice it's against the freedoms that we enjoy in this country and i say we must i repeat must allow men to have their own private men clubs i'll be right back i'll, I'll make a i'll make a deal with you how about the next guest we got coming out here now no i'll guess her goodbye <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And now, David, it's time for our next guest. The, Go ahead. The next guest we have coming out here is most certainly not a... Uh, this girl is here to say that men are not treating women properly. Her name is Rhonda Shear. Rhonda's back. Bring her on. Where's Rhonda? Shear and Rhonda, you, you've been on the show before a couple of times, and tonight you're down here complaining that men don't treat women the way they should. Oh. Yeah. Now, Rhonda, oh, why why are you saying that, Rhonda? Why well, are you saying that? Because first of all, it's you know chivalry's dead. Men don't stand when a woman walks into a room. Like, you didn't stand when I walked in. You don't open, you don't open car doors for us anymore. You asked us out on Friday night. You asked us out on Friday night for Friday night. And then when we're late, 
you know, getting dressed, you get very upset. Wait a minute. Ben, wait a minute. Ben, wait a minute. I mean, then you want us to look, you know, you want us to weigh two pounds, have silky, shiny hair, while you guys can, like, smoke cigars and have a big pot belly. <laughs> Speak up for the men of America here. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute, Rhonda. It's us guys who take you bimbos out for dinner. is overdue and then no, we have to pull out our money. We're the ones taking you out to dinner. We're the ones paying the bills, right? Oh. Yeah. We're, hey, we're the, hey, we're the guys, hey, we're the guys sending you flowers and oh. candy, aren't we? Yeah. That's a and thing all, in the past. And I mean, all we, you, get, we get all dressed up to go out to someplace nice. We're ready. We, and what happens? You pick us up, you take us to McDonald's. I mean, come on. Rhonda. Come on. You pick us up. I mean, they got... You guys, you pick us up in these cars, you know. We expect to get into a nice car. The spring's coming up out of the sea. You say, oh, you say, oh, this, this is, this is my, this is not my car. It's my brother's. Mine's in the shop. You've also said, Rhonda, I, I've heard you complain that you, <laughs> that you think that men, men don't let you women make decisions. Do, do you believe that? I didn't say that. Yes, you did. <laughs> Complain to me. Explain yourself. You complain to me that that we men don't let you women make important decisions in life. Isn't that what you complained about? I don't. Com uh, what I complain about is that okay, you, this whole thing with chauvinism. Okay, you say that this is no, the reason no, but, but why but men aren't You said to me, well. wait. You said to me on the phone that that we men do when not. When calling you for a day. Me, you said to me on the phone that we men don't let you, we men don't let you, you women make important decisions. You complained about that. And I say we do let women make important decisions. No, 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 no. We will let women decide what to cook for dinner. We'll let them decide that. Okay, hold it down, guys. And now, Bill Bancroft. It is time. Oh. <laughs> it's time for our next victim on the hot seat. Go ahead, Bill. Oh yeah, you know you warned me about this guy a long time ago. He supports every labor, lame liberal cause you can think of. Now he's got it stuck in his little pea brain. <laughs> that, that he, he, he wants us all to believe in gay rights, and he wants us to believe in the gay pride festival. Oh. This idiot you know is Larry Rice. Larry Rice, here he is. Here he is. Bring, bring out Larry. Oh. by the fact that that Santa Ana... I don't really care if you're sickened or not, Waldo. Oh. Nobody really... Nobody really needs to see or hear what your opinions are. Listen, you... You stupid little nincompoop. You stupid little nincompoop. Oh. Oh. Hey, did you notice how... How he wiggled onto the stage in his tight little jeans, huh? Oh, you like that? Oh, you like that, do you, Wally? Huh? Oh, you like that? Oh. Catch that, Wally. Were you were you casting your eyes downward oh. as I as I walked in? Now notice. Hey, oh, hold. Hey, shut up. 
आपको के Up there, John. Show those signs that they, they have. They have in the audience there. You get a picture of those. Yeah, no gay parades. Yeah, right. You see, Larry. Larry. That's a hold. Okay, hold. Larry. Tell me why your audience and you are so threatened by a gay parade. We're not. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. You're threatened. You're threatened by. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're not threatened. We're not, we're not threatened, we're sickened! Yeah. Right. Well, well, tell me why, tell me why you're so, what are you looking at? I'm looking what at you. you. Well, I'm looking at I you. I noticed you looking at me. Oh, I want to say something to you. Stop looking at me. Wait, I got a, I got a message for you. Hey, oh, he, he needs to hear this. Stop oh. waving your hand around like that, too, okay? Well, I'm going to remind you of your friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, on the way in here tonight, I was coming through the door. A guy stopped me. A guy... Shut up! I don't want to listen He's to this guy. To hey, He's talking to you. Hey, listen to you. Hey, listen to me. Listen. A guy stopped me coming through the door. His name is Lance. Says he's a good friend of yours. He said, you were magnificent, and would I give you these back? Disgusting. But I'll tell you this, it's pretty obviously you got those from somewhere besides somebody named Lance. And I'll tell you what, if I was looking to find a pair of pink panties, I wouldn't know where to look, Mr. Bill. Oh, hey, they got your name in them. Hold on, hold on. Hey, how much do you want to bet? Hey, how much do you want to bet he's wearing some of these right now? underwear right now oh, okay yeah now how do you like that wally i think huh? you, i you like that don't i'll tell you what i think you're a pervert i think you're sickening too we know he's not we, i want you to leave me alone now let's get to the don't issue here and pick on me we know he's not wearing any there's his right there yeah hey wait a minute that's right hey hey buddy wait a minute yeah i'll come out there Now we're going to get uh, uh, back to our guest, our guest. Now you see, what we're, hey, by the way, by the way, John Faulkner, will you please zero in close on, on my guest? I just, just noticed, hey, this guy is wearing eyeliner on his eyes. Take a look. You 
didn't think I'd notice that, did you, Larry? You didn't have to break my glasses. Oh! <laughs> now, listen, hold on. What I'm, what I'm telling you, Larry, is... Larry, we're talking about... Let's get down to the... Hey, let's get down to the the facts here i am i am very very upset over the fact that the city of santa Ana, of all places is allowing 